and welcome to WrestleMania season here with GM Mode. This is episode number five of the WWE 2K24 GM Mode here with ECW. If you've missed the last four episodes, it's a playlist down in the description down below. My goodness, we have been struggling. We have been struggling. Our world champion is Sheamus and Fella is injured right now. So we're kind of screwed. Our TV champion is currently Drew McIntyre and he's injured as well. But the first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna go out and we're gonna go sign another wrestler. Cause we did trade away in the last episode, Big E, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley for the WWE champion. Obviously the championship doesn't come over, but still we get Dirty Dominic Mysterio and we get Seth Rollins. So this is the card I've built so far. You're gonna see it in a second, but first we're gonna go out and we are gonna go sign a face. We have the option between Bray Wyatt and R-Truth. I'm going to take Bray Wyatt and add him to the roster. We don't have enough money for the rest of the season, but I can add Bray for two weeks and we still have $25,000 left to show. So your main event for this show is gonna be Waller and Cody, but now we implement Finn Balor into a match with Bray Wyatt and this is our show. Drew McIntyre is finally back and we will give Brutus Creed that shot for the television championship right now because Brutus Creed just finished his feud with Damian Priest. Let's do it. Your first match, Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Fresh new matchup, Seth freaking Rollins wins. Two and a half star, Shinsuke's hurt. Okay, Veer cuts a promo on Sheamus. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Finn wins in Bray's debut, goes two and a half stars, no injuries. But this is really the feud we want in Jey Uso, Finn Balor. I think I'm waiting for Dominic Mysterio to fill that Bray Wyatt role for the rivalry. Brutus Creed and new television champion. It's fine, Drew McIntyre cannot stay healthy. Grayson Waller wins the main event against Cody Rhodes. Five star match, oh my goodness. We did have the boost for the tables match, but still, that is our five star feud going into WrestleMania. We cannot afford for either Cody Rhodes or Grayson Waller to get injured. And we've just got to find a way to put the world championship on one of those two guys. Because that's kind of what we need to do, right? You can't just have that feud in the co-main and then have Sheamus defend the world championship against Veer in the main event. I, I just can't have it. We need to find a way to put the belt on either Cody or Waller. So my plan is for now, I think we're gonna do a triple threat match. What is SmackDown main eventing with? That's ridiculous. Josh Briggs wins a three-star match against a jobber in a main event. I mean, what are we doing? Again, I, I get Raw is kind of quality television, which is unlike real life, but still, you know, it, it's quality. SmackDown is the opposite. The SmackDown show is horrible. But anyways, I think the plan has to be a triple threat match, right? We have to put Sheamus in a match with both Rollins and, or sorry, not Rollins, with Cody and Waller and just hope Cody or Waller win the match. Because if they do, then boom, the World Championship can just go straight on that feud and we don't have to worry about Sheamus ever again. And we really don't. So that's gonna be the plan. Hopefully we can pull that off and hopefully Sheamus doesn't go into, you know, super crazy mode and Fella keeps on winning matches and matches and matches when he does come back from injury. So again, five-star main event, we'll take it. 37,000 fans, we should be first this week. Nope. Wow. Last place with a five-star match on free television. Again, we are in first place because we do have the trophy, but still, that is ridiculous. On to Louisville, Kentucky, we are gonna sign Bray Wyatt to an extension because of that power-up card we were gifted by Triple H, so we'll take it. Bray Wyatt's coming back on for the rest of the year. Brutus Creed is happy he's the world, cha the world television champion. That's great. Sheamus wants to leave. Bro, you're the world champion. So we smooth things over, that's fine. Like, we can't have our world champion leaving, even though actually we could just make it for the vacant title, but it's fine. We bring Sheamus back so we can really fully implement our plan of putting the belt on either Grayson Waller or on the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. That's gotta be the plan. But when is Sheamus back though? Is Sheamus back already? He is. 46 stamina, 78 popularity. I think that's gonna, be have, to, that's gonna have to be the move in a second here. We can try putting another Veer and Sheamus match first. We'll do that once maybe. Yeah, we'll do that once just so they, so they can get a real conclusion to their feud. I know it's not gonna technically end, but we just can't take that feud to Mania with the belt. What I can do though, Drew McIntyre won to match Seth Rollins. I'm okay, I'll give that to him. We'll put, you know, Brutus Creed McIntyre and Rollins in a match for the television title. Completely fine with that. Um, and then our co-main event, uh, we just gotta get something going here. I think either we're gonna have to make Balor work on low stamina or we're just gonna set up Mysterio and Wyatt here. I would rather set up Mysterio and Wyatt with a promo, but for the sake of the, the company and for the sake of the brand, we should probably keep Balor healthy. So we're just gonna do the promo with Balor and then we'll do the match between Wyatt and Mysterio right now. And again, Dominic Mysterio, former WWE champion that literally got treated from that brand as the world champion. So way to go, Teddy Long. We actually have enough guys now. We have enough flexibility 
to fill out an entire show. The only two guys that hurt are Nakamura and Big E, and they were literally feuding with themselves, so I don't care. So this is our show, let's get it going. Only cost us 6,000 to run from the KFC Yum Arena in Louisville, Kentucky. Probably not, we probably don't have the money to run that arena, but still, Sheamus wins the World Championship match, two stars. For the ECW Championship, that is crazy. Seth Rollins though, and new television champion in a great match, four stars, we'll take it. Those are the workhorses right there. So Brutus's creed is reign, ends with one week, but it's fine. Again, I'll take it from Seth Rollins. Bray Wyatt, Dominic Mysterio is one and a half stars. We had an embarrassing promo. Waller, Cody, and Waller wins three and a half stars. Not as good as last week's five star match, but it's fine. Waller is fully stamina wise. He's full stamina wise because we had a power up card to give anyone full stamina. And I used it obviously on Grayson Waller because we need Waller and Cody to work every single night. And Cody's fine because Cody's coming off an injury, so he's got a lot of stamina. Cody should be good through Mania as well. We are on a full, you know, non-stop sprint to WrestleMania. And I think we'll be fine because look what SmackDown's doing with the World Championship. After Mysterio leaves, they're doing Sangha and Duke Hudson for the WWE Championship. Duke Hudson in a four and a half star match. That is absolutely blasphemous. My goodness. Duke Hudson's the WWE Champion. Man, oh man. I mean, I, I don't know how that works. I, I mean, I, I guess you just have to get random guys, build them up, and just eventually, because they're making, you know, low money, you can build them up for a world championship feud, and then boom, Duke Hudson can put on a four and a half star classic against Sangha for the WWE Championship. Hogan, Rock, Stone Cold, Cena, Orton, Reigns, Duke Hudson. That's great. Absolutely great. All right, we're still in first place because of the trophy. We're going to Sacramento, California, and thanks, Teddy Long. We can't use a champion. I don't know who it is. It went away really quickly. Sheamus, uh, yeah, I don't care at this point, honestly. Go, go away, fella. He's leaving after this week. So, and Veer wants to move on from Sheamus, so that's fine. I mean, I'm cool with that. Sheamus has won three in a row against Veer. So, we're just going to end that feud quietly. Sheamus, you got to drop the world championship before Mania, buddy. Do a job on the way out. Got to put him in a triple threat match against Waller and Cody right now for the championship. We do have some money to spend. So, you know who we're going to go out and get? We're going to go get Bad Booney. We don't have the money to get Bad Bunny. Oh, man. We can get Dude Love, which honestly... Uh, might be the move because we don't have the money for Bad Bunny. Obviously, that celebrity money we can't offer. Booker T, I wouldn't mind, but Dude Love is cheaper, and why not? Mick Foley said he wants one more match in real life. He's a cheaper option. He's an alternative. We need guys on the roster, and for a one-week deal, eh, give Dude Love thirty-seven thousand dollars. Now there probably was better uses of my money, but we're gonna do that. Cody and Grayson Waller, of course, are going to keep working, but this time in a triple threat match, again, just add Fella to the mix and just pray that either Cody or Waller can take the belt. Because if not, then we kind of, you know, our champion leaves the brand. It's like what CM Punk tried to do at Money in the Bank 2011, but actually, like, real life this time, and we just wouldn't have a champion. We just have to crown a new champion because our champion would leave. So we got to hope Sheamus loses there. The rest of the show just got to fill it out, right? Bray Wyatt could officially call out Dominic Mysterio. That'd be an interesting feud. Again, Wyatt, you know, his skills with the promo game. And for Dominic Mysterio, go wrestle Dude Love. Go win a match. Hopefully Dude Love can put over Dominic Mysterio in his one match that he works with ECW in Mick Foley's return to ECW because he worked there a long time ago, right? We don't have really any power-up cards. We have $30,000. I'm not going to spend it on a power-up card. You know, it's just not worth it at this point. So... We can book the rest of this card. Seth Rollins at 28 stamina. Not ideal. We'll do Finn Balor and Jey Uso on this card. Then we will work uh, McIntyre Veer. Again, Veer won a different match this week. We will give it to him. Seth can go out and call out. Who's Seth feuding with? Does Seth even have a feud? Shinsuke. Actually, no, we're going to do this. We're going to use Health Spa on Seth right now just to get him to recover. I don't know if Shinsuke is going to be ready for Mania, though. So I don't know if Seth's feud's actually going to be there or not. Yeah, this might be the card. It just We just need to pray that Sheamus loses the belt because, again, we can't have that. We need Cody or Waller to get the rub in the main event for the triple threat match. So McIntyre, Veer, new feud. McIntyre wins two stars. Okay, Bray Wyatt officially makes his rivalry official. 
with Dominic Mysterio. Jey Uso, Finn Balor. Finn Balor is going to win. Good match. Three stars. That rivalry has been doing pretty well for us. Dominic Mysterio, just go over Dude Love. Nope. Okay. Dude Love says, that doesn't work for me, brother. Goes in here, wins one match, and leaves. All right, Grayson Waller, new champion. We'll take it. That doesn't matter, the Dude Love result. We needed to get the belt off of Fella, and that's what we did. The Grayson Waller effect. He's the world champion. And now you have your main event of WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes, Grayson Waller, ECW World Championship on the line. I don't think either of them will get injured. We have one more show. We have the go-home show after this to Mania. And then the show itself, we can main event with Waller and Cody. And I think that's going to be a pretty good match. I'm expecting five stars in the main event of WrestleMania. I'm expecting that's going to be the best match on this entire show. Going through three brands, that should be the best match no matter what. Because this is what SmackDown's running. Sanga is the world champion. I mean, what are we doing? Bruno San Martino, Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, Stone Cold, Rock, Cena, Jericho, Reigns, Rollins, Ambrose, Senga. I mean, what are we doing? Like, this is an embarrassment to the sport. It, 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 it truly is. It is an embarrassment to the sport. Um, their main event for Raw, though, they, they signed Molly Holly just to do a charity promo for them, which is odd even though she's a heel. Main event triple threat, Williams, Coffee, Prince, your winner is Elton Prince and new US champion. Trick Williams has had that belt for a while too. So I think our card was the best. I think it was. Actually, it was close. 36,000 fans, uh, 41, my goodness, raw, 41. All right, we're last. Again, we're used to it. But again, still first place because of the trophy. All right, St. Louis, Missouri, go home show to Mania. Finn Balor says, yeah, I want two weeks off right before Mania. No, you have to finish your feud with Jey Uso. Uh, what does Jey Uso want? He wants more money. I, I don't, I can't afford that, dude. Yeah, I can't afford that at all. You gotta go wrestle Finn Balor two more times, and you can leave for all I care, after the, the superstar shakeup draft or whatever. All right, go home, show to Mania. Waller expects to make an appearance in the pay-per-view. Dude, you're the main event. Come on now. World title match before the pay-per-view on the go home show. We're gonna give the people what they want. Give them the match twice, you know? Give the people of St. Louis, Missouri the match, and don't have a screwy finish and just let the main event go on. Cause why not? You know, we've got Seth, Shinsuke's not back. Um, We can just throw Seth in a match. He's got the stamina, I think, right? 58, have Seth defend against a random guy, random heel. Um, I mean, everyone's got a feud, but we just do a run in, I think, or we can sign someone actually. Let's do it. We have $131,000. Let's give Seth the feud for Mania because I don't think Shinsuke is going to be back. Bring in the Tribal Chief. Yeah, bring in the Tribal Chief. Welcome Roman Reigns. He's going to be feuding for Seth Rollins' ECW TV Championship. Why not? Don't call out Shinsuke Nakamura. Call out the big dog. The head of the table. Roman Reigns now on ECW television. My goodness. I don't even know if we're gonna work Roman this week because, you know, we're just trying to get the job done with the feud with Seth and we'll throw him in a triple threat match with Mysterio and Bray Wyatt. Hopefully it improves this match, right? I'm not, uh, should we throw Veer in there? We'll throw Veer in there too. Why not? If we have enough bodies, we'll see. Um, we'll run Jey Uso, Finn Balor, maybe Balor's at 22 stamina. We can definitely run Creed and McIntyre. It's just a matter of, do we want to work Balor and Uso and push it? Uh, we'll just pray they don't get injured. Yeah, no, or we can do, we could do a run in there, or we could just sign someone. We do have the money to just sign someone for one week, and that's probably what actually I'm going to do. We need a one-week contract out of someone. Ludovic Kaiser. We've got Austin Theory. Jimmy Uso. Uh, Jinder Mahal. Don't hinder Jinder. How about that? Uh, Theory, you know. We can get Gunter, but we don't have the money for Gunter. Actually, do we even have the money for... Oh, we don't have the money for Kaiser. We can get Alcatraz, who's in a prison suit, which is hilarious. He's in, he's in an orange jumpsuit. 12000 for the rest of the year. Yeah, it's going to have to be Alcatraz, guys. I hate to do it. One year, one week, $6,000. Go out here and go work a match, man. Go work Jey Uso for a week. See what you get. It's our only option. It truly is. It is what it is. I don't want Finn getting hurt. I, I We need the match for Mania, so I'm going to do that. Uso and Alcatraz, then Finn can just do a promo this week. So there's your show. Go home show before WrestleMania. It's a good show. Don't get me wrong. We are introducing Roman Reigns the week before WrestleMania and instantly putting him in a, in a match for the world title. That's big time, man. That is big time. We have $2,000 after this show, but 
you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's see it. ECW, Jey Uso versus Alcatraz. Don't lose to a jobber. All right, Jey Uso wins. He goes over the enhancement talent like he is supposed to. Finn Balor promo against Jey Uso, it's okay. Brutus Creed, Drew McIntyre. Brutus Creed is gonna win at that Hoss fight. Two stars, rivalries to two stars, to two, uh, level two though, okay. Can Roman please win this match? No, he doesn't. Of course, Dominic Mysterio wins. Two stars. Okay. Cody and Waller for the belt. Waller's the champion and he loses. Okay. Four-star match. Cody wins. That's fine. Again, they're just going to rematch again at Mania. We'll see who the world champion is. SmackDown's running a triple threat with Dakota Kai, Alexa Bliss, and Tamina. Tamina wins a three-star match. Wendy Chu is cutting promos. Tiffany Stratton and Indy Hartwell. I guess it's Tiffy time because Tiffany Stratton's going to win. Two and a half stars. Who is Clubberella? What are we doing? Is that Jungle Boy's long lost sister? My goodness. Drew Gulak and Logan Paul win. JD McDonough and Braun Strowman. Here's their feud. Sanga and Duke Hudson. Sanga retains the belt. So again, we have an up and coming group, uh, Grayson Waller taking on the face of the brand and Cody Rhodes. And they're running Sanga and Duke Hudson. I don't care what Monday Night Raw has. That is again, an embarrassment to the sport. That's what it is. Let's call it what it is, man. Again, we are running quality television and that's what Friday Night Smackdown is putting out week in and week out. It's ridiculous. And again, I'm, I, don't, I don't mind what Raw is doing. If I lose to Monday Night Raw, I don't care. I, that is a credible feud between Io Sky and Bailey Damage Control versus Natalia and Charlotte. It's fine. Four stars, Women's World Tag Team Championships. I'm okay with it. We had the worst show this week. Doesn't really matter. This is just a build show to Mania. We just gotta have, we gotta be at full strength for WrestleMania. So we win another trophy. We have $2 million in revenue, even though everyone's gonna get that, but it's fine. Still in first place because of that, because of that original trophy. And of course, random superstar can't compete. It's Veer, cannot be used in week 25. He's using it in week 25. Are you kidding me? Jey Uso wants to tear up his contract at WrestleMania. He wants $100,000. I can't give that to you. Just work WrestleMania, dude. Okay, one more chance. Thank God, man. Drew McIntyre wants to have a match at the pay-per-view. Obviously, he's going to. I mean, I can't believe this. Jey Uso is threatening to walk out on our biggest show when he has a match against Balor and a rivalry against Balor on the show as well. Main event, Cody Rhodes versus Grayson Waller in a Hell in a Cell match. That should bang, and that should get us five stars. We're going to open with the television championship, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. Let's put it in a submission match. I don't know if we're gonna have the money. We might need to reallocate our funds after this, but here is Mr. Disgruntled, Jay Uso versus Finn Balor. Um, for now, we'll put it in a tables match again, or we'll put it in just a regular match. Uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll do Dominic versus Bray here, and then Brutus versus McIntyre as our other feud. I mean, it's that simple. Those are the only guys we have. Those are the only possibilities we have to work on this show. So let's just run it. In all, I think with the circumstances, I think I did a decent job recovering. I mean, again, we uh, uh, we can't run Veer in this show, which we weren't anyway, but I find it ridiculous that the power-up cards literally say you can't use in week 25, and they still use it, and Veer still can't wrestle this week. Again, we weren't going to use him. He'd probably just be a promo guy tonight, but it's so stupid. We're going to rent out the WrestleMania Stadium, obviously, because it's WrestleMania, so it means Seth and... Roman are gonna have to work a non-submission match, which kind of which kind of sucks. We don't have money for any of that. Um, and our really only stipulation match will be the main event between Cody and Grayson Waller. But you know, it is what we have to do. I mean, I rather have the WrestleMania Stadium to apply to the you know the entire atmosphere than have Cody or sorry have Seth and Roman work a submission match. They can just work a tables match. I don't know why it costs that much money to run a submission match. By the way, you don't need anything for that. You you, you don't. It's a regular match. You don't need anything to help. So I don't know. It's fine. Let's go to WrestleMania, man. I think this is the show. There's nothing else I can do. I think it's a decent card. Again, main evented by Cody Rhodes and Grayson Waller. I expect five stars. Nothing less. Seriously. I expect five stars out of that. Rollins and Reigns, your first match. It goes to Roman Reigns, new television champion. Three and a half stars. Jay Uso versus Finn Balor. Jay Uso is your winner. Four stars. Balor is hurt. Hey, season's over. I don't care. Bray Wyatt, Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio wins, two and a half stars. Drew McIntyre, Brutus Creed, and it will be won by Drew McIntyre. Two and a half stars. Your main event, Cody Rhodes, Grayson Waller for the ECW Championship. Hell, hell in a cell, Cody Rhodes wins, five stars. Give it to him. Their second five-star match of the rivalry 
it's been it's been huge seriously cody rhodes and grayson waller have kept us alive it's really been the only thing kind of, i mean no rollins and reigns i think is worth watching but it's really been the true like feud to watch on smackdown why is george the animal steel on smackdown i mean on ecw for us obviously right like that's been the feud to watch for us I mean, this is ridiculous. What is SmackDown doing? They're finally using Big E because he's finally back from injury. Wendy Chu versus Rhea Ripley's on Mania for them, and it gets what? Two stars? Well deserved. Main event Tamina, Alexa Bliss, China, world title on the line. China is the SmackDown Women's Champion. That's their final shot of Mania. Here's Raw, Nathan Frazier, Montez Ford. Frazier is going to win. Three and a half stars. They bring in Kevin Nash just to cut a promo. Okay, Molly Holly versus Candice LeRae is won by Candice LeRae, two stars. Jobber cuts a promo, mid-card match. Uh, tag team titles on the line, Trick Williams, Ily Ilya Dragunov versus what? Coffee and Prince. Dragunov retains MVP Julius Creed is won by Julius Creed in your main event. On Raw, again, I understand this one. Io Sky and Bailey versus Natalia and Charlotte will probably get five stars. I wouldn't be surprised. Four and a half. Okay. We have the best show. Look at it. Yeah, we have the best show. And we have the five star main event. We should gain the most fans. 166. SmackDown. How? We lost by 50. Oh my goodness. 50K and 30K. We're still in first place here at the Slammy Awards, but my goodness. We win the most TLC matches. What? Do we have one? I mean, like, okay. Theodore Long, most tornado. William Regal, most specialist on the roster. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. We do win the, the first year, though, somehow, some way. I mean, we had the best match quality, we had the most profits, and we had the most rivalries. I don't understand how the fans are just aren't happening for us. Shout out to Cody Rhodes and shout out to Grayson Waller for having, 19, for having 19 matches in 25 weeks. Folks, that'll do it for season number one of GMO. Now, we'll be back tomorrow for the second season and the draft and the superstar shakeup. You'll see what we got for you tomorrow, folks. GM mode, episode six. You don't want to miss it. Folks, thank you for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more and Mamba forever.